The Mashpee Chamber of Commerce is proud to present Let's Connect through participation, innovation, illumination, and celebration. And the Mashpee Falcons have won and they're state champions. Sponsored by Rockland Trust, where each relationship matters. RSW Advertising and Mashpee TV. Rockland Trust is honored to be a sponsor of the annual dinner. We understand how important it is to give back to our communities and we also know that we are only as strong as the communities that we serve and that we work in. It goes around and it comes around. Value of participation. None of the events organized by the town, the Mashpee Chamber, the Wampanoag Tribe, or any of our local organizations would be worthwhile if it wasn't for the support of the individuals who choose to take part. I think it's very important for people to understand that in order to make a difference, you have to participate. Participation is essential, uh, not only with the Chamber of Commerce, uh, but in the town and all our nonprofits as well. Local participation was high at this year's Ruck for Hit, a fundraising event for Heroes in Transition, an organization started in Mashpee to raise money and awareness for our veterans. It was just an amazing experience, um, I, and I believe it was like maybe 40% of the participants were just from Mashpee alone. Just so overwhelmed. By, by the community of Mashpee. And I've never felt a sense of community like I have here. Uh, last year, we start, we did Ruck um, 2016 from uh, New York City's Ground Zero to Cape Cod. And we received such support from Cape Cod, it, it, um, all over Cape Cod last year when we came back. We crossed that bridge and um, the feeling was just amazing and the support just you know brought us through the rest of the event last year. And, uh, right away this year, we knew that um, this was going to stay on the Cape. Many local nonprofits and charitable organizations would not be able to provide services to the community without the generous support from our businesses. It's part of our culture, so uh, we're happy to participate in that, you know, historic uh, connection between business and community. I've been lucky enough, uh, fortunate enough to be able to do business in great communities like this, like Mashpee, and um, we've built our company on a culture of giving back. We're very proud of that responsibility, uh, to give back to the communities where we live and work. Um, it's, it's just important to give back. You know, this community has made us what we are. We are from Mashpee. All our family and friends are here, and um, we like that we can kind of help people that we know. People have trusted me with very important things in their lives. Uh, they've trusted me with their families' lives. You just have to give back under those circumstances. And I've always believed that giving back to a community, you want to do it from your heart, not for any other reason but that, so. Our community is very generous, which is obvious at the high school's annual scholarship night. It's a great opportunity to bring in our families and our students and celebrate them for their dedication to academics as well as to being a very well-rounded, civic-minded individual. Last year alone, our class of 2016 uh, walked away with over $132,000 in scholarships as well as over seven laptops. Uh, and to have those relationships, to build them, to cultivate them and to expand upon them every year is uh, something I'm very proud of and very thankful for as the principal of the school. The Mashpee Chamber of Commerce has awarded over $40,000 in scholarships over the years thanks to the money raised at our special events. You feel part of the community, you're doing something that's helping others. And in order to help others, people also donate their time. Eastern Bank allows me as an employee to give back my time to my community. Um, such as, you know, working, doing things for um, Habitat for Humanity, doing painting or planting, or doing things like um, participating in the annual uh, golf tournament. It has been my pleasure to be the president of the Mashpee Chamber of Commerce for the last two years. 
the easiest way to keep the small community and keep the feeling that people came here for is by connecting together with different uh, group organizations, things like the uh, chamber events, uh, the town events, always seem to work out and it always seems to give everyone a purpose. Meanwhile, participating in town government is also very important. Um, you can come to a town meeting and you can participate in town government, let your voice be heard. Town government's a place where what we do really affects individual people. And so the more that we can get people engaged in what goes on, I think the stronger the community and the more people feel the benefit of the services they receive. At some point, you have to step up and say, I want to assume that responsibility. Innovation. Innovation in business means making progress, turning old ideas, methods, and styles into fresh ones that excite clients and customers. As the Mashpee Chamber of Commerce, we strive to innovate alongside our members. We decided if we were going to survive as a chamber that we needed to come up with new ways of thinking. We started with our branding and we wanted to also distinguish ourselves with uh, the guidebook and turn it into a magazine, which you've done. Uh, we also wanted to distinguish ourselves with uh, a more modern, more contemporary uh, bent, which is really a representative of our community and business and entrepreneurs uh, who live here. We're always on that edge. This is always a, this is a very fluid business. Mashpee's success can be attributed to innovation. The town has changed over the years with businesses like Southport and Mashpee Commons receiving national recognition. Historically, innovation has come from when people mix together. The planning behind what we're trying to do at Mashpee Commons is to create this kind of social interaction. It really has become a dynamic, modern community on Cape Cod. And really quite a thrill to be here and it's been great to watch it grow like it has. However, Mashpee, like many communities, is facing a depleting local workforce. More incentives are needed to keep graduating high school and college students in the Cape Cod workforce. We hope that uh, by building the types of housing here that, that we will help to retain the young people on Cape Cod as well and also create uh, job opportunities for, for them. Meanwhile, the Mashpee Chamber is partnering with the Mashpee High School to help tackle the concern with an internship program. I think it's important that we develop a really close partnership with those out in the community, the businesses as well as individual organizations so that our students really understand what it takes to be part of a community. I think the kids really have a unique opportunity when they can actually work in the business community and get a feel for it before they leave for college. Um, the Mashpee Chamber has allowed me to step out of the senior classroom and put a little foot into the real, you know, the, the real world of business. The main way it has helped me is it's given me a look into the business community as I'm looking forward to studying business next year at college. The Chamber of Commerce internship gave me a new perspective on all the events that happen at Mashpee. I've been able to see how websites work, how people interact uh, during business meetings. It, the Mashpee Chamber of Commerce has given me a great insight on how the real world operates. It was really interesting trying to manage tasks for them, um, but also to formulate something that would be like a bigger picture, something that they could have to show for it later. Austin also did his senior project with the Mashpee Chamber. He organized a road race to raise money for the Boys and Girls Club. The Chamber was able to help me learn all the steps because I didn't realize at first all the steps it took to have an event. I had to do all, they helped me with all the marketing and all the sponsorships and all the, uh, the race day planning and working with all the different groups like the DPW in Mashpee. And I would not have been able to do that without the help of the Chamber. Innovation continues to work through the Wampanoag Tribe. You know, we continue to grow. It's about continuous improvement. When you think about it, we are innovative way back in the day with our society. We are in a renaissance time where today our tribal governance, our tribal culture is stronger than ever. Our traditions, our languages, the resurgence of our language, that's innovation. Innovation is alive and well at the Children's Museum. 
I'm so excited for the Cape Cod Children's Museum to be right at the heart of innovation. Uh, zero to five is our age group and STEM really speaks to them. Members are coming up with innovative ways to raise money. This is our hotshot air cannon. We shoot golf balls, we shoot uh, tennis balls. This is my new little toy that uh, I invested in so all our charities in town can raise money for their endeavors and for their events. And innovation is thriving in our business community. This is innovation. Good morning, Ron. Welcome Good morning. to Ron Thank you so much. Hope you're enjoying today. Um, the environment allows for us to have better conversations with our customer. The barriers are broken down. You can see we don't have big teller lines, which allows it to be all about the customer. There are many changes at Rockland Trust, including a new ATM machine that dispenses ones, fives, twenties, and $50 bills. Mashby's Season of Illumination. The day after Thanksgiving, the Mashby Rotary is transformed into something magical. Every branch of every tree beams with lights that dance in the winter wind. The illuminated trees transform the rotary into a beacon of holiday cheer. Without a doubt, it is the best lighting display on Cape Cod. I can't envision Mashby having a Christmas season without them. In 2016, the Chamber and the Town formed a fundraising partnership to keep the Rotary Lights tradition aglow. Oh, we had a, a great relationship with the Chamber of Commerce and the businesses. The businesses in town were terrific at stepping to the plate to help once they found out there may not be lights. And uh, it was an exciting uh, time for, for Mashby. Supporting local causes like the Rotary Lights, like many of the things we do, it's our mission. That's what we should do. And, and we're happy to do it. And we're lucky to do it. Um, to come to the center of our community, the Rotary, and to come around that corner and see those beautiful lights and those trees, it's just a, it's a statement. It's a statement that our community cares. Mashby's season of illumination also includes the lights at the community park. At Christmas time, this place looks like a fairy tale for a child. And everybody comes and sings and enjoys the festivities and the illumination of the lights. In addition to the lights at the community park and the Rotary, the Mashby Chamber's Christmas Parade helps brighten up the holiday season in Mashby. Well, last year was my first year that I participated in the Mashby Christmas Parade. And um, I loved it. And you can see that from the first year to the existence to last year, what a difference has come, right? What a difference that the chamber has made uh, and the improvements and between size and quality, um, it's been spectacular. Chamber has just brought it along so well. It's now a major event on Cape Cod. The Christmas parade this year is going to be very exciting. It's going to start this time at Deer Crossing. We've never incorporated that shopping center before. The fact that it's starting in Deer Crossing um, I think is great because we have all these merchants that will be able to participate, open up their business, as will Eastern Bank that day. I think it's terrific. I think it's a great plaza to start in. Tons of parking, great visibility. Um, central to everything, it's a great idea. Mashby's season of illumination would not be possible without the support of our businesses and residents. Reasons for celebration. If I try to celebrate my life daily, I'm healthy, I live in a great place, I have a great family, I, there's a lot to celebrate. There's a lot to celebrate. In fact, it's been quite a year. A couple of weeks ago, I just celebrated my 30th anniversary here. Uh, we had a lot of people come in to congratulate me and uh, to help celebrate me. We have L.L. Bean that's just um, putting the store together right now. Um. Mashby's growing, and as we saw last night at a after hours with the chamber, we had a full house. New members, new businesses. Home goods, moving into Southgate Village, so things are changing. People are coming to Mashby. Our CEO, Joel Kroll, is retiring after 47 years of being with the bank. And we have a new CEO coming in. Her name is Lisa Oliver. We just won the J.D. Power Award for customer service satisfaction. Mashby is proud of its traditional celebrations. You know, Pawas, as they traditionally would call it, was a gathering of our people. 
And so it's a homecoming for us. We all come home together. We invite the public in. The Mashpee Chamber's La Tavola, the Italian feast of wine, food, and song, which is now a chamber tradition, is celebrating its 10th anniversary this year. La Tavola turned out to be a turning point for this chamber. And it's mushroomed uh, into many other events as a result because people do like sense of community. And there are new celebrations. The Mashpee High School Falcons won their second straight state title in 2016. It was tremendous, uh, tremendous accomplishment for our kids, for our coaching staff. Uh, we weren't expected to do what we did. Our kids came together, they worked hard. We worked together as a team and we accomplished something that no one on Cape has accomplished ever. It's a life-changing experience, just the entire atmosphere of Mashpee coming together to watch it and all the fans and stuff was amazing. Me and my teammates from seven years old till now got to win a state championship together. Uh, it's something they'll, they'll cherish the rest of their lives. When Robert Kraft handed us a trophy, it was absolutely incredible. Meeting a man of that stature with his kind of integrity, I never imagined I'd meet a man that high up in the Patriots organization. Mashpee Townies show their support all season long. The town was crazy at that football game. But it's great having the whole town come out to support you. It's a great story for a small town. And Our student athletes are among the best and not only that, when you look at their um, achievements on the field, it also translates into the classroom. We've had some great accomplishments with our activities that our students participate in, in terms of sports. The drama production this year was outstanding. We welcome, welcome Chinese visitors to the elementary school and also to the Mashpee Middle High School. It's been phenomenal with our culinary program, ProStar program, uh, representing Massachusetts nationally. Uh, but all that can't happen without the support of our community. It's all about relationships and the connections we share. Connections are essential uh, to surviving in business. Uh, and uh, we've made it a, a priority to work together as a community and including people in uh, event planning, uh, including our town leaders. It's critical for the town to be uh, connected to various aspects, particularly with the events that the Chamber of Commerce is directly involved with. Get connected with the Mashpee Chamber of Commerce. You can't sit back on the sidelines and say, it's somebody else's job, it's somebody else's role. Participate. Innovate. Illuminate. Let us all be a light in our community. Celebrate! Celebrate.